Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my very short comic haul series. It hasn't been uh, entirely that long since I did the first part, but these packages arrived a lot sooner than I thought they would. So I ordered a few books from Amazon, a few off eBay, and a couple from a comic shop in Sydney. Sorry, one from a comic shop in Sydney. And they all pretty much arrived on the same day, which was pleasantly surprising, since I thought I had another week or so before any of them got here. It was cool. So we're going to go through the comics that I got. And there's also something at the end that I'll show you guys. So all these books here I got from Amazon. And it was uh, around about $150, $200. But I'd been working a lot lately, so I had a little bit of money to spare. So this first one is uh, Spider-Man, The Vengeance of Venom. These are all trade paperbacks. And it's a collection of a few different Spider-Man comics that feature Venom. So I believe actually this first, yeah, this first uh, comic it looks like is The Birth of Venom. We're in a very quick recap of it. But, um, yeah, this one's sort of the older comics from Spider-Man, a collection of them. And there's a few, uh, appearances from Carnage in here as well. And I believe there's a story, there's Black Symbiote Suit Spider-Man, and a flashback it looks like. Um, but yeah, there's a story in here, I think, I think it's this one, where Spider-Man fakes his death on an island in order to get Venom, Eddie Brock, to lay off, basically. I think that was this book. Let's see if I can find it. It's like a, uh, basically a skeleton wearing the Spider-Man suit. I'm not sure where he got a skeleton on a deserted. There it is there. Okay, so he's found a graveyard, I think. Yeah, there we go. Found a graveyard on a deserted island somehow. And fakes his death so that Eddie Brock will just chill on this island forever. So yeah, that's just a collection of old Spider-Man comics, which will be pretty cool to read through. This one is like... I'm not sure if it was actually... Okay. Collects Venom vs. Carnage 1 to 4 by Peter Milliken. And I really like the art in this one. As you can see, it's a lot more jagged and pointy and... Uh, sort of wild, a lot sharper and deranged, and this story is, it's not super dark, but it's a bit more serious, it's about, um, it's not so much Venom versus Carnage, like it implies, it's more, um, Venom and Carnage versus Toxin, which is Carnage's offspring, as Carnage is Venom's offspring, and it's got a bit of a sad ending, like nobody dies or anything, but this policeman here who becomes Toxin, 
um, like he just has a baby with his wife and then decides he has to leave her because this toxin monster is taking over him. I'll see if I can find a picture of toxin. There we go, this sort of one. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good one. So he kind of looks a bit bit more like Spider-Man than the other two. And he tries his best to control it, but he's scared that he'll hurt his wife and child if he somehow does not control Toxin. So yeah, it's a bit of a sad ending. I'm not sure if there's any more to that series. Venom vs. Carnage, but I really like the art in that one. And uh, the pages are like really glossy, and I like the sort of gritty art style it's almost like claymation kind of thing so yeah that one's pretty cool um i mentioned this book in my last video i called it the evil within it's called the enemy within so it wasn't that far off and again this is a collection of older venom stories and then they got this one the birth of venom but apparently it's a lot more about Spider-Man than it is about Venom. But this one is four stories with Venom. And he faces, I think it's four, faces off against, according to the blurb, Punisher, Juggernaut, Demogoblin, and Morbius the Living Vampire. I know the first two, Punisher and Juggernaut, but I'm not very familiar with Demogoblin and Morbius. And uh, there's also a fight with the Hulk in here as well. Let's see if I can find that. So I think it's a collection of four stories from what I understand. And apparent, according to reviews, two of them are good and two of them are pretty average. But you know what? I love them. And I love comics. Especially, I love them. I really enjoy the like gritty very oversaturated weird um, um, proportions like on the bodies of the old comics they're very strange but that's my aesthetic let's see if I can find that Hulk comic I think it's at the back here somewhere Fighting the Hulk. Seems like Venom's getting the upper hand there. But Hulk has figured out that the uh, symbiote suit is is uh, weak to loud sounds and fire. All loud sounds at least. There's the Punisher. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool to have a look at. Apparently Lethal Protector is pretty good as well. And if I get through all this, I'll, I might order Venom Lethal Protector. But I like that front cover. I love seeing all the different artistic impressions and, uh, you know, adaptations of Venom. Next up we have Venom Volume 1 by Rick Remender. That's the guy I was trying to remember in the last video. And um, this is basically the first 20, maybe? No, 12. First 12 issues of the most recent Before Venom Space Night uh, series of Venom comics, where it's mostly Agent Venom. So it's Flash Thompson as Agent Venom. And as I said, I'm not a huge Agent Venom fan, but I have noticed that about halfway into the book, regular Venom makes an appearance and is in it for a little bit. 
I'm pretty sure he turns back to Agent Venom though. Ooh, look at that one, he's trying to desperately to rip the suit off. It's grim. But yeah, apparently Recommender does a, uh, a huge service to the Venom character. Look at him there, looks like a whole bust of Venom or something. Goodness. I'm pretty sure there's actually a story where the Red Hulk bonds with the symbiote suit to become Venom Hulk and also has a bond, less of a physical bond, but a bond with uh, the Spirit of Vengeance so it becomes Ghost Rider, Red Hulk, uh, Venom and wouldn't that just be terrifying? That sounds absolutely disastrous. And oh, there's also a, uh, a What If comic at the back where the Venom symbiote bonds with uh, Deadpool instead of Spider-Man. And it actually looks a... I'm sorry, it might be Deadpool instead of Eddie Brock. It's one of them anyway. Um, looks a bit different to the Venom pool from... Marvel Contest of Champions though. Looks really weird with the curls and everything. And for some reason Carnage is apparently this lady here. Yeah, it looks weird flipping through because there is Deadpool dressed up as Thor. Very strange. Out of context, it's very strange. So that's volume 1, it collects 1 to 12 of uh, Venom by Rick Remender. And this is volume 2, that collects 13 to 13, 13.1, 13 to 13.4, and 14 to 22. So basically, 9 more. Uh, volumes, and there's the Red Hulk. Oh, it might be in this. Red Hulk and Ghost Rider. I'm assuming it's actually in this then. That they all get together. Good god, what is that? That's a huge monster. What the hell are they fighting there? It looks like Venable if the host was. Um, okay, no, it's the continuation of the Circle of Hell, I think, so I, I don't think it's in this volume. I think there's uh, some more volumes where Rick Remender was no longer the lead author, the lead writer, or the writer at all. And yeah, all those characters sort of combine for a short time. Um, but yeah, this is apparently about Venom's time in the Secret Avengers with the Red Hulk and whoever this lady is. Let's have a look. Red Hulk, Ghost Rider, and X-23. So I'm assuming she's X-23. I have very little knowledge of this storyline, so I'm very excited to read it. Um, but I love the quality of these. It's very nice, glossy front cover, very sturdy. And I really like the, the thick, glossy pages as well. So that'll be a delight to read, I'm sure. The only problem is, since I only got the first 22 issues of those Venom comics, um, who was then continued by um, another writer who, whose name I've read but not can't remember, I would then, to continue the whole story, I would have to get all his collections, and I don't believe that all those collections exist. I think there's one for the end where the female Venom suit 
character uh, Mania is introduced. It's all Killers of a Soul or something like that, something to do with Killers in the title. But yeah, it would be a, a daunting task to try and get the rest of them. Okay, next up we have my package from eBay. All those early comics were from Amazon. Um, I've already opened these in the interest of saving time and uh, not being too loud and also wanted to have a look at them. I bought these ones from a seller for $20 plus postage and I ordered them at 2 in the morning when I was going on my binge, my shopping binge, and he posted them within like 4 hours, so I was super happy with the postage time, and he wrapped them very carefully. He had that original packet, he had this one, which was wrapped between two pieces of cardboard, and then he had more cardboard on the inside. has all these comics individually wrapped. And they're in really good condition from what I can tell. So from this eBay seller, whose name I can't remember, and honestly probably shouldn't give out, we have uh, Venom the Hunger which was a four-part series back in 1996. So we got August, September, October, and I'm assuming November. Yeah, November. Venom the Hunger. I'll put them in order this way. see them all anyway, but that's okay. So we have, number one is City of Dreams. Number two is called In the White Room. Number three called Bug Hunt. And number four, which I'm assuming is just called The Hunger. And I think this is probably my favourite cover. Just how strange Venom looks. He looks like a, uh, like a 90s or 80s like rock band symbol kind of thing. Very strange. But uh, yeah, I got all these original printings all direct editions. Except for this one. Doesn't say direct edition. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, good enough for me. And they've all got a very nice plastic case and there's an ad for Spider-Man pasta. So hot, it's practically radioactive. And I haven't looked at any of the insides of these, so we might open this up and have a look. So there's a tiny little bit of wear at the edges, but honestly I'm not expecting to get any money for these any day or anything, so let's get these out of the way. Like, um, it'll fall apart any second. 
from what I understand, this sort of story becomes, yeah, Venom eats a lot of heads and brains and stuff, and it's a little bit of a darker, more insane take on the Venom character. Also seems to be in space. But all of these pages look like they're in great condition. And I aim to keep it that way. This seller was absolutely perfect. He sent my comics out without delay, gave me tracking. He wrote a little note saying enjoy, which I found charming. And I was very happy with my purchase and I'm going to leave a very positive review for him. So yeah, that's Venom the Hunger that I got from eBay. And I've got four pockets in the back of my folder from the last episode that these are going to sit in. Till I can find a more permanent storage solution. Okay, the last thing we have to look at today is just one more comic. I ordered from Sydney. And it's volume 10 of, or issue 10, of Venom Space Night, in which Venom undergoes a trial. Um, there's a fair bit of cool fighting in it between Clintar, and it's revealed that part of Venom was not cleansed by the, uh, the Clintar back in Gardens of the Galaxy, which is why he is still struggling with his rage. So this was the edition that my comic shop couldn't get in for me. I'm still waiting for issue 5, which I haven't read yet. And once I get issue 5, I'll be all caught up until the next issue comes out. So, yeah, that's uh, what I've got in comics. And now I've got something really cool to show you guys. Well, I think it's cool. have a Venom print t-shirt. It's just a black shirt with the the spider imprinted on it. And I've uh, been waiting to do a video on it before I opened it. Because it has this nice crinkly paper on it. So let's open it up and have a look. So I read a review, a few reviews actually, on this 
finish it. That's and um, things like it's a shame that the two things on the front and back don't quite meet up. Honestly, I I only wanted one on the front anyway. So there is actually one on the back. And there was another review that someone got a shirt. It looked terrible. This was the image on the item. But for some reason they got a shirt where the spider was like this big. Just in the middle of the shirt. And I was like, that's super weird. Please don't let that happen to me. And I figure I won't be wearing this without something over the top like a long sleeve shirt. So no one will see that anyway. Or a jumper. Um, it feels like solid material the vinyl print feels I think it's vinyl I'm not sure what you call it but it feels like it's on properly it's not just ironed on in someone's kitchen or anything um, the symbol looks pretty straight to me there was also a review saying that it, uh, the spider symbol was sort of crooked on some of them, but I guess it depends on which manufacturer you uh, order from. It's got the official Marvel thing on it, but it wasn't from a Marvel shop. So I wonder if this is actually endorsed by Marvel. Anyway, it's not much good looking at a shirt like this. So let me swap the camera around real quick and I'll try it on. So I've got the shirt on now, and it's it's pretty comfortable. It'll be more comfortable with a wash, to get it to soften up a little bit, it's a little bit stiff. Um, the logo on the back's a little bit scratchy, but I'm hoping the wash will, again, soften that up a bit. But it's a nice deep black. The symbol's nice and clear. It doesn't bother me too much that they don't touch. Um, again, I'd only prefer to have the front symbol, but couldn't really find that from a uh, from a decent seller. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this purchase. I think. Hopefully, you guys like the look of it. Let me know if you think it looks alright. Um, you know, it's gonna look good. Otherwise, what's the point in buying it? <laughs> But that about wraps up this comic slash t-shirt haul today. I guess it's more of a Venom haul, to be honest. I don't believe I'll be doing another comic haul. Um, but once I finish the Collecting the Venom Space Knight series, which will be in a month or two, I'll do a comic book collection video um, with all the ones I mentioned in the previous video. So you can have that to look forward to, all you comic lovers out there. But I'd like to thank you for joining me for this second part of my comic haul. We will return to our scheduled... Well, not scheduled, we will return to our regular gaming and collectible and, uh, you know, pop culture videos from here on out. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you guys next time.